Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We pray every negative prophecy concerning your life is cancelled. It's can Amen. Lord, we ask, oh God, for your healing. Cancer, we speak to you. Bow in the name of Jesus. Every siege, whatever battle, sicknesses and diseases, we pack and go in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever that battle that comes your way this year, I pray you will dominate. Amen. I pray for you today. That situation will turn around for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Therefore I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. Hallelujah. Somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We give God praise for making it possible for us to be alive today in the land of the living. And we want to appreciate God for what he's doing in your life. For you to be alive today is the Lord's doing. Amen. I want to declare that actually it is marvelous in our sight. Amen. I want to welcome you to another edition of Prayer Hour that is coming to you live from the Advent Cable Network Nigeria. We are transmitting live from the city of Abuja. And we are trusting God that today's edition of Prayer Hour is going to bring great manifestations in your life. Amen. And that is why we want to encourage you, regular listeners, regular watchers of this program, invite your colleagues, invite your friends, your well-wishers, your family members, let them know that Prayer Hour is live online. We are reaching you from all the available platforms you are going to see on the screen. And that is why I want to encourage you to reach out to your people. Tell them that we are right here in the studio and um, it's a promising one. And that's why I want to let you know it's a special Prayer Hour because of the season in which we are. And we are trusting God that is going to do great and marvelous things in your life. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Welcome you once again. I'm going to be your anchor for today's program. My name is Evangelist Felix Eze. And I am not alone in the studio. Our brother Evangelist Obin Onuibo is here. And we are trusting God that the Lord is going to use him to minister to us. Obi, can you welcome our viewers? Yeah, you are welcome viewers and watchers. Listeners, wherever you are, the Lord bless you all in mm. Jesus' name. Amen. Brethren, we're going to be praying for you. We're going to be interceding for you and your family members and the church and our nation, Nigeria. And we want to encourage you because we are not alone in this business. There are men at the background who will be praying along with us. And we want to encourage you too that as you hook up to this program, don't let down your guard. For the next one hour, one hour, 30 minutes, as the Lord grants us grace, we want you to know that it's a special time with God. And we are trusting God that the miracle you've been expecting, the miracle you've been waiting for, is going to drop down in your hands in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let's pray together. Obi, can you pray for us? In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we bless your name. Mm. Thank you for another episode, another edition to be in your presence. Yes, Lord. Lord, we ask that right now, let the heavens be open. Amen. We ask that, Lord, you will meet us at the point of our need. Amen. We ask that everybody watching or viewing wherever they are, Lord, you will meet them today. Amen. Let the heavens be open. Amen. Let Issues receive solution. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we ask the Lord, everything that would not work in accordance to your name, we subdue them right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Fill us with all trans. Yes, Lord. Let your people be blessed. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We declare this environment open. We declare the heavens open. Mm. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Viewers, as we declare this meeting open, 
with an open heaven, so it shall extend unto your various homes. Amen. Our prayer is that wherever you are going to be watching us from, heaven shall open unto you. Amen. There shall be no obstructions in the highways of heaven. Amen. The spirit of the most high God shall minister to you Amen. expressly. Amen. Every roadblock of the devil consigning your life and your issues, today we ask them to be lifted Amen. up. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And so we declare, lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be lifted up, you ancient doors, you everlasting doors, that the King of glory may come in. The Lord is going to visit your home today. That's the assurance we bring your way. And as it is with our routine, we are going to be sharing from the scriptures. The reason why we share from the scriptures before we begin to pray is that we want to carry everybody along at the same frequency. We want us to flow at the same frequency, get into the issues in the same mind, in the same mind. And that's why as we share the scriptures, may the Lord minister to you. Amen. Let the Lord speak to your specific situations Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Our prayer is that you shall receive revelation Amen. today. Insight shall be given unto you. Amen. You will not pray in the flesh. Amen. You will not pray out of the flesh. Amen. You will not minister to the flesh. Amen. We'll be speaking as oracles of God and ministering like the ministers of the Almighty. And that's why we want to take our text today from Jeremiah chapter 8. And what is our topic of discussion? It says, there is balm in Gilead. Hallelujah. <laughs> somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say somebody shout hallelujah. He said there is balm in Gilead. Amen. There is balm in Gilead. And that's a topic of discussion. Jeremiah chapter 8. We'll be taking our text, Jeremiah chapter 8 from verse 18 to verse 22. Brother Obi, you are going to read for us. Right. Jeremiah chapter 8, mm -hmm. from verse 18 to verse 22. Yes. When I would comfort myself against sorrow, mm. my heart is faint in me. Mm. Behold, the voice, of the, the voice of the cry of the daughter of my people, because of them that dwell in a far country, mm. is not the Lord in Zion, mm. Is not her king in her? Yes. Why have they provoked me to anger with their graven images and with strange vanities? Mm. The harvest is past, the summer is ended, and we are not saved. Mm. For the heart of the daughter of my people, of my people, am I hot? Mm. Am I black? Astonishment, hot, taking hold on me. Mm. Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Mm. Why then is not the health of the daughter of my people recovered? Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. This so, is the word of the Lord. Ah, thanks be to God. Viewers, we are going to take this reading again. And before we take it again, I want you to get yourself prepared. You see, it's a prayer hour, a life program that comes to you regularly. So for our regular viewers, you know we're going to be taking specific, definite prayer requests as you send them. And we'll be encouraging you to prepare to give us calls too, because um, when you call and we pray along, we trust God that he'll be answering us in real time. Amen. Whatever requests you are going to be putting forth, we are trusting God that immediate responses are going to be coming from heaven. Amen. So, brethren, I want you guys to be on alert of what the Lord is going to do today. Today, we are going to read this text again from the New King James Version. But before we read it again, I want to lay a background to this uh, discussion. You see, it is obvious that as many of us that are watching this program, may have had one target, one vision, one dream, or the other, by the beginning of this year, 2022, or for some years back, there have been an expectation in your heart that you've trusted God to accomplish for you. There are some prayer requests that you've been sending to the throne room of heaven that by now have yet not received 
positive feedbacks. Brethren, I want to encourage you this evening. It's possible that there is something you are expecting from God in the year 2022 that has not dropped. I want to tell, let you know that you are not alone in this situation. Somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you that you are not the only person who has trusted God for a miracle in 2022. You've trusted God for a breakthrough. You've trusted God for a miracle, baby. You've trusted God for your healing. You've trusted God for your deliverance. You've trusted God for an open door. You've trusted God for a miracle job. You've trusted God for your travel papers. But as I'm speaking to you, you are yet to lay hold on it. Brethren, do not be discouraged. Brethren, do not sleep in despair. The encouragement tonight is that there is a bar in Gilead. Amen. You see, it's possible you are the verge of despondency. It's possible you are the verge of despair. It's possible you've looked left, right, front, and back, and it's like help is not coming from any. That there is balm in Gilead. Amen. We've come to tell you tonight that the physician of the daughter of Zion is still alive. Amen. You see, from where we read, the Bible said the harvest is past. Mm -hmm. The summer is over. Yeah. And yet we are not saved. This may be the lamentation of somebody who is watching this meeting. The trouble of the enemy may have overwhelmed you. And you have expected deliverance from heaven. You've been able to share your prayer requests with different quarters. But as I yet speak to you, your answers are yet to come. Brethren, we are speaking to you today out of the confidence and the faith we have in the word of God that none of his word that will go forth tonight shall return empty-handed. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I told you we are going to read this scripture again. Bobby, you are going to you know, throw in some form of introduction. And as we read, viewers, I want you to listen attentively in the spirit. And I wouldn't know what message the Lord is going to drop in your heart. I want you to run with it tonight. That as we pray, your answers shall come speedily. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Jeremiah chapter 8. We are going to read again from verse 18. I'm going to read from the New King James Version so that we can see in what perspective the scripture puts it. Jeremiah chapter 8. And the Bible says, you can have it on the screen, yes. I would comfort myself in sorrow. This is a man who is in despair. He says, I will comfort myself in sorrow. My heart is faint in me. Verse 19. Listen, the voice, the cry of the daughter of my people from a far country. Is not the Lord in Zion? Is not her king in her? Why have they provoked me to anger with their grave? with their carved images with foreign idols. Verse 20. He says, The harvest is past. The summer is ended. And we are not saved. Verse 21. For the heart of the daughter of my people, I am hot. It has taken hold of me. Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physicians there? Why then is there no recovery? Why then is there no healing? Why then is there no answer? Why is then is there no breakthrough? For the health of the daughter of my people. May the Lord bless the reading of his word in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Brethren, tonight... The questions 
that the scripture is throwing up in these uh, discussions are the kind of questions that the Englishman calls rhetorical questions. That's right. They are questions that don't come with immediate answers. They are questions that are just thrown in the air and you are left at your fate to take a position. So this evening, you will see with me that from the place where we read is the voice of lamentation. Is a voice of the prophet who is speaking on behalf of the daughter of Zion. I don't know what your situation is, but if you see this scripture in the same light with me, you will see that this prophet who is speaking is already in a state of despair because disappointment is written all over him. He was in a state of solitude. He was in a state of abandonment. He was in a state where he has been deserted to his faith. Even those things he anchored on in expectations that those were the areas where solutions were supposed to come from, he could not lay hands even on those things as means of his solution. Brethren, I don't know what your state is. I don't know what your situation is. Hmm. Somebody is on the line. Can we take the call? Hello, sir. Yes, Busar is calling already from on those states. Can we take that call? Yes. I, I, I need a prayer for my family. Correct. Uh, one of my one of my daughter has uh, the eyes problem. Okay. I need prayer for her. Okay. Good. Let's pray together. Busari. Busari, are you hearing me? Yes, sir. I want to let you know that there is bad in Gilead. Sir. I want to know that there is bomb in Gilead. And the bomb in Gilead is meant for healing. Amen. Let's pray together. Father in heaven, we thank you for the daughter of Busari. The Bible says, it's the no balm in Gilead. But we've examined the scriptures from Genesis to Revelation. And we have come to discover in the book of Jeremiah with the question that is coming to us in this meeting that there is a balm in Gilead. Amen. And we pray for the daughter of Busari that the balm of Gilead shall heal his daughter in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Because the Bible says that the name of the Lord is like an ointment poured forth. And so tonight we declare that the name of the Lord shall establish divine healing upon your daughter's eyes and Amen. sight Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Wherever you are at this time, we stretch forth our hands and we establish the healing of God upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We pray that you recover your sight. Amen. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. It is done. Amen. So my brother, we're coming back to our discussion and we're saying that men... As the ray year winds down, we are in the month of December. Today is 15th. Halfway into the end of the month of December. And it seems as if responses are not coming. And today we are discussing Amen. that there is balm in Greenland. What do you tell our viewers as we share with them to begin to take our prayer request? Hallelujah. Amen. We bless the Lord for his faithfulness. Mm. His faithfulness is endless, is changeless. Yes. Hebrews chapter 13, mm. verse 8 says, He's the same God yesterday, mm. today, and, and forever. forever. He will not change in your situation. Mm -hmm. He has not changed before. He cannot change now. Yes. Concerning your issue, God will not change. Amen. He is the same God. Yes, Lord. And he will prove himself powerful in your life mm. in Jesus' name. Amen. God is still in the business of restoring life and destiny. Mm -hmm. God is still in the business of restoring 
foreign nations and family, yes. territories, whatever it is, is still in the business. Mm. And I want to let you know, brother, sister, that yours is not going to be exceptional. Mm -hmm. The Lord shall restore you totally in Jesus' name. Amen. Despite our unfaithfulness, despite our, our sin, despite that we are not up to the standard what the Lord is requesting, mm. desiring from us, he cannot change. He has not changed. Mm -hmm. Because he is faithful, he will not change in our own situation. Amen. Because he is faithful, he has not changed. Mm -hmm. And despite all this, there is still balm in Gilead. Oh, yeah. When we talk about balm, balm is any ointment, mm. anything that is derived from the tree or from shirop that is mainly for healing valuables, mm -hmm. that is mainly just for healing. Mm. And, and, and from what we discussed, we noticed that balm is any fragrance or valuable ointment that is tapped or sapped from trees or shrubs mm. with medicinal qualities, particularly or peculiarly for healing. Yes. That is what balm is used for. Mm. It's anything which heals or mitigates pain. Mm. And I want to let you know that the power of God heals. Amen. The Bible says anointing breaks the yoke. Yes, Lord. Therefore, there is healing for every one of us tonight mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Look at Gilead. Gilead is a heal of testimony. Mm. Gilead is a place in Israel where people encounter God. Mm. At Gilead, the, 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 the father-in-law of Jacob was coming to encounter Jacob after Jacob left him. But the Lord intercepted. Mm -hmm. Intercepted and met the man there at Gilead and told him not to say anything good nor bad to Jacob. The Lord intercepted in the journey of Jacob and preserved his life. That mm. is what the Lord did at Gilead. Mm. I want to let you know that today, your Gilead will manifest for you. Amen! The interfere in your case. Amen! The interfere in your situation. Amen. And there shall be healing in the name of Jesus. Amen. Jeremiah chapter 8 talks about God's visitation mm. despite the sin of the people. You know, at that passage, Jeremiah was 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 complaining, he was lamenting, just like brother say mm. that the people have sinned, and God also was angry with the sin and the iniquity of the people. Mm. For they have taken the name of the Lord in vain, they have worshipped idols, they have bowed down to vain infirmity, and the Lord was not happy with them. Mm. And we see from verse 18. Jeremiah began to comfort himself, even in sorrow. Yes. He began to comfort himself. himself. Mm. Just like the case of David, mm. after he has went for a particular battle and returned with his soldiers, and he saw that his land has been invaded, mm. and the soldiers all were crying, mm. wailing and weeping, in pain and sorrow. He but encouraged the himself. Said, David encouraged so himself. Himself. Oh, That is the situation Jeremiah is mm. at this point. After he has seen everything that has happened, the despair, the disappointment, the scripture said from verse 18 that Jeremiah comforts himself, mm. even though in the face of pain, trials, and tribulation, Jeremiah comforts. I want to let you know, bro, sister, wherever you are watching that this, no matter the situation you are right now, mm. I would like you to begin to comfort yourself. Amen. In the Lord. I would like you to begin to take courage. In the Lord. Amen. God is not dead yet. Yes, God Lord. Not Hallelujah. Mm. He's still the same yesterday. Come on. His power is still available. Zeke, to restore. Take care begin me, to Comfort yourself in the Lord. Amen. Our God is able to do everything, but in Him there is possibility. Mm. With men, it looks impossible. Yes, Lord. With God, our God, my God, mm. all things are possible. possible. Amen. In verse 19, the remnant of God begin to ask questions. Mm. And we also saw that they, they were asking about the potency of God. Mm. They were asking about the power of God. Mm. Where is the God we serve? Mm. Where is the God of our fathers? Mm. I don't know the situation you are right now. A matter came some time ago, somebody was trusting God for, 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 for a, 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 scholar, a, a scholarship, it was given, but now, scholarship abroad, and therefore, the, 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 the immigration and everything is not working in places, and he began to ask questions, what is going on, what mm. is going on, but we let him know that God is still in the business of restoration, yeah, man. not just question the potency of God, mm. and he will not show forth himself, mm. but the Lord did something, mm. what did you see again, from verse 20, there was nothing to show for, just like brother said, there was nothing to show for after counting from January to now, there is nothing. The harvest is gone, mm. the summer is past. Mm. What do we have to show? Nothing. Hey, people of God, I want to let you know that with God, something can still happen. Hey, man. No matter we find ourselves, hey, man. Now, it cannot took six days to create mm. the universe. I don't know how many days it will take to, 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 to turn your life around. Hey, man. I, don't know how many I tell you, people of God, that even now, even now, there can still be change of story. Hey, man. Even now, there will be change 
change of story. Amen. Right now there will be transformation. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In verse 21, we see pain, we see sorrow, mm. we see affliction. That was the order of the day. Mm. Pain was the order of the day. Oh my affliction God. was the order of the day. Mm. Sorrow was the order of the day. I don't know the mountain that you are facing right now. I don't know the mountain you are facing right now. Right now. It could be health mountain. It could be, it could be it could marital crisis. Mm. It could be financial crisis. God. I care not to know. I come in the name of the Lord. Amen. Let me see that comes in the name of the Lord. Amen. I have that mountain Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Verse 22, Jeremiah began to pray. Mm. Jeremiah began to intercede. Mm. He began God to raise God voice and began to cry. We have no power here. Is there no prophet here? Mm. Is there no physician here? Mm. People of God, I want to let you know, we still have a great physician. Amen. We still have a great physician. Amen. There is nothing too difficult for him to do. Amen. He is the God of all flesh. Yes, no. I will meet you right now. I can see somebody. The Lord is opening my eyes mm. to see there is somebody on a stretcher, on a bed, mm. on a sick bed right now. Mm. And you are looking up there and you are asking, is there no potency? Is there no God? Where is the God we saw? Mm. Where is the God we talked about? The mm. God that the people talked and preached about. Right now, bro, as you are lying right there, the power of God is hitting you. Amen. And you are rising from that bed. Amen. You are rising from that stretcher. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Amen. There shall be restoration. Hallelujah. There shall be restoration. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You see, what is the implication of that passage? What is the implication of Jeremiah's question? What is the implication? Number one, I'll just give you four and then we continue. Mm. Number one, there is judgment for every life. Mm. There is judgment for every nation. No matter who you are, no matter your title, mm. no matter the position you occupy, there is judgment for you if you don't hearken to the voice of the Lord. Mm. There may be you are there, God is open your eyes to see the, the, the wrongs you have been doing to change and for you to face him and let him give you a new beginning but you are busy you, 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 you still want to retain your old life mm. excuse me sir there is judgment for any life that will not respond to the call of God mm. the Bible says if my people that are called by my name mm. will hearken and obey and repent, I will hear them and heal them. The but what happens if they don't hearken? Mm. What happens if they don't respond? What happens if they don't call on the name of the Lord? There will be judgment, there will be despair, mm. there will be punishment because God cannot be mocked. Whatever a man soweth, he will reap. He that breaketh the earth, the serpent mm. will bite. People of God, the, number two, what is the implication? There can still be restoration. Amen. There can still be restoration. Amen. There can still be restoration. Amen. There can still be restoration. Mm. I want to tell you, people of God, when Jeremiah was asking that question, is there no bam? Is there no physician? The Lord will respond. Amen. I don't know. The Lord has already responded. Amen. He brought his people out of slavery. Mm. In your case, God will respond. Amen. There can still be restoration. Amen. If we repent, there will be restoration. Amen. And then number three, there is bam in Gilead. Amen. And there is a physician. There is balm in Gilead. Mm. And there is a physician there. Mm. There is balm in Gilead. Amen. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You have looked left and right. You have calculated everything and you are asking, what else can I do in my business? What else can I do? Mm. The time is fast spent. There is balm in Gilead. Amen. There is still restoration. Hallelujah. There is still a physician. Mm. Heaven can still interfere. Call your matter, he will mm. interfere. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And then finally, you are the bam, your Gilead is waiting for you. That is what the Lord told me this evening. Mm. That for, so, for somebody watching out there, you are the bam, your Gilead is waiting for you. You are the physician that you have been waiting for. Mm. You are actually the physician. There was a question that John the Baptist sent to Jesus Christ when he was in prison. Mm. He sent his disciples to him and asked him, are you the one we are waiting for? Oh, that same John the Baptist that prophesied mm. in, in the earlier chapters that behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. Mm. And when he was in prison, he began to ask questions. And that he asked Jesus, are you the one we are waiting for? Or we should wait for another? And Jesus told him the testimony. The blind see, mm. the deaf hear. Mm. The cripple was mm. glory to Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Maybe you are also there. You are asking Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 20. It's actually pointing to you that you are the battle axe of the mm. Lord. And with you, he will bring, bring down mountains and nations. Mm. I don't know the, the, the situations you are right now. You are running for healing. 
provision you have been waiting for. Amen. For the scripture say, out of thy belly shall flow rivers of living water. water. Take up to your responsibility. Amen. Your family has been waiting for you. Mm. Nigeria is waiting for you. Mm. The church is waiting for you. Mm. Your generation is waiting for mm. you. Take up to that responsibility. God is waiting to honor your word. Hallelujah. And as you arise from tonight, heaven will honor his word in your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. I come Amen. today to prophesy. I come today to decree by the mandate of God upon my life. Mm. Whatever darkness surrounding your life, mm. whatever situation that has wear you down, mm. whatever mm. Every damage that has begun in life, your marriage, your family, even in Nigeria, whatever the devil says he has done here, are taking hold. I care not to know. By the power of God, I come against them. Let there be deliverance in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let the bam begin to flow. Let the bam begin to flow in your life, in your business. Let the bam begin to flow in Nigeria. Let the bam begin to flow. Amen. In the church of God, Amen. let the bomb begin to flow. Amen. For the ministry that is going down, Amen. let the bomb begin to flow. Amen. In Jesus' name, Amen. Brother, we want to appreciate God for you today. The bomb of Gilead heals every wound. Amen. The bomb of Gilead attends to every situation. Amen. The balm of Gilead heals the wounds sustained in marriages. Amen. The balm of Gilead heals your business. Amen. The balm of Gilead heals your heart. Amen. The balm of Gilead heals your relationship. Amen. The balm of Gilead heals your academy. Amen. The balm of Gilead heals your ministry. Amen. The balm of Gilead intervenes in our career Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So that when we speak about the bomb, is the likelihood or the like is in the likeness of what the Yoruba man calls Bobo Niche. It is a manner of diseases. It is every form of situation. So brethren, tonight as we speak to you, the question that the scripture is asking is where is the Lord in Zion? This question is coming with an expectation for a positive answer. It's coming with an expectation that is long overdue. But there is something the Lord says that I want to share with you as we begin to tidy up. Brethren, look at what the Bible says in verse 21. I'm interested in it. It says, For the heart of the daughter of my people, I am hot. Hey. For the heart of the daughter of my people, he says, I am hot. I want to let you know tonight that the reason why the Lord is going to arise on your case is because of divine jealousy. Zechariah chapter 1, I will read that scriptures to portray this so that you can stand upon the jealousy of God to make your intercessions tonight. And the Lord shall take up the battle in your case. Amen. Zechariah chapter 1, we are going to be reading from verse 14. Zechariah chapter 1, verse 14 says, So the angel who spoke with me said to me, Proclaim, saying, Thus says the Lord of hosts, I am jealous for Jerusalem and for Zion with great zeal. I am exceedingly angry with the nations at ease, for I was a little angry, for they helped, but with evil intent. Listen to me, the Bible is saying there is an aspect of God, there is a character of God in which he drives fury against his enemies. I don't know who is against you. The reason why the balm of Gilead is going to establish divine healing in every aspect of your life today is because the Lord is hot in your situation. Mm. The enemy who has troubled and plagued you all these years, tonight we are going to declare that the, end, the Lord God Almighty shall take up his divine Amen. jealousy against them. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Because the Lord says, 
I am hot because you are hot. Because you've cried overnight, the Lord is not at ease. Because you've cried all these years, the Lord is not keeping quiet for your case. Because the zeal of the Lord is going to establish your deliverance. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible says the harvest is over. Hey. The harvest is over. Brethren, the question I want to ask you tonight before we begin to pray. Do you still trust God for his deliverance? Even in your despair, are you still looking up to God? Not giving up on God? Because our brother said, as he was yesterday, so he is today and forever. Brethren, he changeth not. Hallelujah. There is balm in Gilead. Amen. And even the physician who is to make the right prescription and administer the drug is still in Zion. Amen. Amen. There is balm in Gilead. Amen. The physician is still there. Amen. Because there could be every possibility that the balm may be there. But the physician who is to administer the drug is not there. The balm the physician and the balm are present in Zion. Amen. Brother, we declare unto you tonight, Amen. nothing will evade divine encounter Amen. in your life. Amen. Even in the season where we are, Amen. may the balm of the Lord establish his healing. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Brother, we're going to go on a very short break. I want to encourage you as we return, we are going to be taking your prayer request. Don't keep quiet because the balm of Gilead is waiting for you. Amen. In Gilead, Amen. in Zion, Amen. he's waiting for you. Amen. Send in your prayer requests. The numbers are on the screen. They are on the screen. Copy them and begin to send in your request. Call us on phone. Send your request as WhatsApp messages. And we're going to pray along with you. And we're trusting God that the heavens shall open in your case tonight. Amen. We'll go on a very short break. And when we return, we shall begin to pray. Amen. Don't go anywhere. Amen. The Lord bless you. Amen. Amen. Come on, 
Viewers who want to welcome you back to prayer hour. It has been a, an awesome time in God's presence. And I am trusting God that today's meeting will work out salvation for you. Amen. You see, our brother made a point while he was sharing with us that the Lord is asking you, who is even watching us tonight, to change your position. He's asking you to make an adjustment. Because the reason sometimes why... We wait on God and it seems as though God is far from us. It's actually because we are far from God. And we can only be far from God by our dispositions, by our attitude, the kind of lifestyle we've decided to adopt. And it seems as if, as though there is no bam in Gilead. It seems as though, you know, the physician is not there. He is there. The bomb is there, but the reason why we are not seeing healing, the reason why it seems as if the harvest is past, the summer is over, and we are yet not saved, is because we are far from God. And we want to call everyone who is watching this meeting this evening, that it may be a time for you to make amends. And the Lord, God Almighty, will bless you. Somebody is on the line. Somebody is already calling us. And we, Paul from Lagos, God bless you. Yes, I, I want to send out my request that God Almighty should help me. And there is an issue of the courage, prayer, shall be back in the week, but God has been faithful. Okay. I want to pray, like, sometimes I work, but I can't find my finances. Okay. Okay. Can we pray? Can we pray? We are going to pray that the Lord will heal your finances. Amen. We are going to pray that the Lord God Almighty will stretch his forth, his mighty hand forth upon you and establish his healing. Amen. Whatever that has plagued your finances, Paul will speak to such situation. That in the name of the Lord God Almighty, who made the heavens and the earth, that that situation in your life shall submit to the authority of heaven Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Paul will pray for you. Amen. Whatever edge that was broken in your life through which the enemy crept in, we command divine healing. Amen. We command that the edge be rebuked. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. we pray that the zeal of the Lord, the jealousy of divine almighty, shall I come to establish the healing in your finances Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. The years that the canker worms and the caterpillars have eaten, we pray tonight that they be restored. Amen. That they be restored. Amen. I said that they be restored. Amen. Receive your healing power. Amen. Even in your finances. Amen. We cover your finances with the blood, the of, blood Jesus, of Jesus. And we declare it safe and Amen. secure. You will walk. Amen. You will eat. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. For it is done. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Okay. We have a request here from Ola Lekan, who is requesting. He says, good evening, sir. I have been working. I don't know where my money is going to. <laughs> I can't rent my own house, and I see money a lot. Mm. I try to control myself. It's not working. Mm. It's not working out. The same Please place. pray for me. 
I want a change in the aspects of my life. Kai. People of God, this matter and the previous one is just in, in line together, not mm. together. But I want to let you know in Jeremiah, Joel chapter 2 from verse 22, talks about restoration. Mm. And God is out there to restore. Amen. He says he will restore the years, the locusts, the palmer worms, the caterpillars, the canker worms as eating. Mm. I don't know how many years you've been working and you're not seeing the dividend, you're not seeing results. But today there shall be restoration. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Right now, wherever you are, or la le can Receive the power of his restoration. Amen. Let there be restoration in your finance. Amen. Let there be restoration in your place of Amen. work. Let there be restoration in your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And whatever is the canker worm that is eating your finance, mm. whatever is the canker worm that is eating your resources, mm. right now we command them to dry up. Amen. In the name of Jesus. We command them to be roasted by fire. Amen. Every canker worm that is eating your resources, wherever they are monitoring mm. you from, that whenever you have this money, it looks as if you put them in leaking pockets mm. and leaking holes. Right now, we command them to be dry up. Amen. Let the canker worms be dry up. Amen. Let the canker worms be roasted by fire. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive your restoration. Hallelujah. Receive your restoration. Mm. In the name of Jesus. Now, a little counsel from Brother Olale Khan. Wherever you are watching or hearing right now, please, you have to make sure that your tight is not negotiating. Mm. You don't negotiate with it. It's not negotiable. Mm. Make sure that you give the Lord his own. Make sure that your life is pure. Make sure that whatever it is that eats the money, you know, the ones that you can control, receive the grace of God to do without those things. Amen. In the name of Jesus. If it's a lifetime, receive grace of God. Mm. Because whosoever is born of God overcometh the world. Mm. This is the, the, the victory that overcomes the world. Faith. Our faith. Mm. Receive the victory to overcome the world mm. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Grace to live a life of fulfillment, to fulfill your destiny. Receive it right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Somebody wrote in and said, bless you, men of God. Please pray for me, for God's power to open the strong gate of my business. Amen. Amen. Okay, somebody is on the line. Maybe we'll take this call before we continue with the prayer request. Hello? Yes, go ahead. Okay, sir. My prayer request is that I want more grace. Serve God and I agree. I want my cra my prayer life to increase. Mm. And God should deliver my family from sickness. Okay. Okay. We're gonna pray for you. The balm of Gilead will heal your spiritual life. Amen. It will heal your finances. Amen. It will heal your physical life. Amen. Amara from Castina State. In the Obi, name of can Jesus, you pray? Amen. Pray for Amara from Castina. Your physical, your spiritual life, right now, let there be healing. Amen. Receive the healing Amen. power of God. Mm. In your life, receive the healing power of God. Amen. He says that he's a God that restores, that mm. heals and restores. Mm. Right now, Amara, receive restoration. Mm. In your spiritual life, because the Bible says that we are battle acts in the hands of the Lord. Mm. The Lord makes you battle acts in the name Amen. of Jesus. The Spirit of God is upon you now. Amen. The Spirit of God is upon you. Amen. You will war and you will win battles. Amen. For the Lord. In the name of Jesus, Amen. He said He has made our hands ready for war mm. and our fingers for battle. Mm. May the Lord use you as a weapon of war in this end time. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. receive baptism of the Holy Ghost mm. in your spiritual walk with God. Mm. Receive restoration. Receive Hallelujah. baptism now. Mm. Right now, receive in the name of Jesus. Amen. Be baptized by the Holy Ghost. Mm. Yes, it's the Holy. God that baptized mm. in the name of Jesus, wherever you are, because you desire, receive fresh baptism Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. And every form of affliction, sickness, and pain, mm. right now, they shall be answerable to the power of God. Amen. They shall be answerable to the balm of Gilead. Amen. Amen. Command them right now to jack back to hell mm. and return no more. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The part of the just is a shining light. Mm. You will shine brighter and brighter. Hallelujah. Your health will shine mm. in the name of of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It is well with you, Sister Mara. Amen. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We'll continue with the prayer request. Somebody says, Bless you, men of God. We've read it. Say, please pray for me for God's power to open the strong gate of my business. 
Father, we pray for our brother in Mecca. He has trusted you. He has believed you. That there is a part you need to play in his business. And so he sends in his prayer request. Lord, we pray. May the balm of Gilead, the physician in Gilead, arise on his behalf. Amen. And every strong gate of the enemy be built through in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, lift up your hands and be lifted up your everlasting doors for the King of glory to come in. Lord, we pray for a Mecca today. Let every Every strong gate that has opposed your prosperity be crushed down in the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive your breakthrough. Amen. The Lord give you victory. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. We have also here an anonymous who is also giving a request. He said, Good evening, men of God. I want to thank God. Somebody is on the line. All right. Can we take that call? Mm -hmm. Emeka from Katsina. Mm -hmm. Yes, God bless you. Yeah. Good, evening, sir. Good evening, God bless you. Uh, my name is Emeka from Katsina. God bless you. Welcome to prayer hour. Yes, sir. Uh, okay. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Yes, sir. Emeka, do you believe that there is balm in Gilead? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Correct. And the physician is there. Yes, sir. We are going to pray that the balm of Gilead shall establish divine healing and breakthrough upon your home. Amen. That the physician of Zion, the daughter of Zion, shall visit your home in this season. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The season of Advent in which we have found ourselves shall welcome the physician in your home Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Palm of Gilead, Amen. heal your home. Amen. Palm of Gilead, Amen. heal your business. Amen. Palm of Gilead, Amen. bring about your breakthrough Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever that has stood against your prosperity. Whatever that has stood against your progress in life, even in the land of Katsina State, we declare tonight that the physician has come. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. receive your breakthrough. Amen. And the Lord establish you. Amen. Upon the land where your feet tread, is given unto you as a possession. Amen. The Lord prosper your, the works of your hands Amen. and give you your desired Amen. expectations. Amen. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, Continue. Con continuing. An anonymous says, Good evening, men of God. I want to thank God for the success of my brother's wedding mm -hmm. and the healing of mom. Thank you very much for your prayers. God did it for us. Amen. Please. I still need prayers for my husband for deliverance from different attacks. Mm. He is going through tough times. Oh. Tough times, they, 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 they never say, last. They never last. They never last. People do. They never last. They never last. Go, Malado Shakaya. Zuku Pali Gadia. From whatever difficult situation that your husband, that your family is passing through mm. right now, the bomb of Gilead is entering into a little Shikapaya. And he's settling that case right now. Amen. He's settling that case right now. Amen. That tough time is ending right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The tough times are ending right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I call it to an end. Amen. In the name of God the Father. Amen. In the name of God the Son. Hallelujah. In the name of God the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Pharaoh you saw before, mm. the Egyptian you saw before, mm. the tough times you saw before, hey, you the see difficult them no times more. you saw you before, see them no the more. affliction you saw before, you see them no the more. You saw before, you see them no the more. You saw before, you see them no the more. The you see them no more. 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 You see them no more.
receive your liberation. Amen. Receive your liberation. Amen. I visit the foundation of your husband. Mm. The scripture says the foundation is faulty. Mm. What can Mama the righteous do? do? For the righteous can run to the physician. Mm. He is the creator. The physician is the mm. creator. When the righteous run to the physician, mm. he can recreate the foundation. Amen. He can remake the foundation. Amen. Right now, I settled the issues with your foundation. Hallelujah. Let the Lord intervene in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let there be restoration now. Mm. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Brother, you know, there is a book I... You ask, there is a book I received when I was um, leaving the university. And written on that book is, Tough times never last. Mm. Tough times, they never last. But tough people, they do. they do. I want to encourage you tonight, for whatever you're passing through, it has an expiration. Amen. One day, the Lord will shine light mm. at the end of the tunnel. Amen. You will see light. Amen. You will see light. Amen. Good evening, men of God. Please pray for the balm of Gilead to be applied in my eyes. And tonight we pray that the balm of Gilead be applied, be applied on your eyes Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. The healing of the Lord shall be established in Amen. your family. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. we welcome the physician upon your head. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. whatever that has resisted the healing and that of the men, that of the medics and the paramedics, Today, we apply the healing from the throne room of God. Amen. The palm of Gilead Amen. upon your eyes Amen. and in the life of your family. Amen. In the mighty name of da, Jesus. Da, 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 da. Amen. We open the gates Amen. of your home Amen. unto the physician Amen. of heaven. Amen. And with his entourage, Amen. his team of doctors, Amen. and his team of paramedics, minister unto you and to every Every form that it's so desires. Oh, shut up, yeah. For in Jesus' in name mighty Jesus. name we pray. Amen. Mm. And Anonymous is requesting, he said, Good evening, man of God. Please pray for my mother for healing and sound health. Mm. And also against the spirit of delay in my family. Amen. We pray for your mom for healing mm. and sound health mm. right now. You know, the scripture talks about the woman with the issue of blood for 12 years. Mm. It says when Jesus was passing by, mm. she came by, she struggled, she managed to get her way through and met Jesus and touched the, the hem of, of his garment. garment. And immediately the balm of Gilead flowed down. Immediately there was, mm. a, there, there was, there was a reaction. Mm. A spiritual reaction took place mm. which caused about the healing of the woman. Mm. I don't know how many years your mother have been trusting God for healing. But in the order of the woman who have been waiting for 12 years mm. in the scripture the who scripture. touched the garment of Jesus and the balm of Gilead issued out. Kabula, right for Kabula, your mother, let Kabula. the balm of Gilead be issued. Let the balm of Gilead be issued. Zuku I don't know how many years you have Zuku Zuku for, wherever you are. Arise, arise, arise from Rabe the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And I address the spirit of delay. Mm. I address you right now. Mm. Wherever you are coming from, wherever you are orchestrated from, mm. wherever you are you you, you 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 have been engineered from, mm. I care not to know the altar, the shrine, the coven, mm. where delay has been manipulating your family from right now. Who are thou, O mountain, mm. before Zerubbabel? Be, be lifted in the name of Jesus. Amen. Be lifted in the name of Amen. Jesus. Thou spirit of delay, the Lord rebuke you. Hallelujah. Henceforth you shall see delay no more. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lord, speed is released for you now. Thank you, Divine Lord. speed for whatever you do. Mm. Divine speed. Even this year you will overtake. Mm. You will pursue. You will overtake. And without loss, you, you shall recover. recover. All. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. Mm. In in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Somebody wrote, a Mecca says, Good day, men of God. Please pray for me, my family and my business, for the gate of heaven to open for my business, my business environment, and for this year to end with favor. I'm sure it's the same Emeka that I wrote previously. We pray in the same light. We pray in the same vein. We pray in the same spirit. We pray in the same, in the same, in the same unction. We pray 
Lord, by the Spirit of the Lord, your, 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 your business environment receive divine saturation in the name of Jesus. The Lord opened doors for you. The year will end for you in favor. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And make it is done. Amen. <laughs> I hear Ephata. Ephata. Mm, Malo. Malo. It is done. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Mm. Okay, we have from Promise. Promise is requesting. He said, Good evening, men of God. Please pray for me against delay mm -hmm. and for God's favor. In fact, all my efforts, nothing is working. Mm. Seven years joblessness, business not moving. Please help me in prayer. Oh, Brother the Lord promise, answer you. I'd like you to join us. Let your faith be connected. Mm. Heaven is responding to that matter. Mm. When I was praying earlier concerning this matter, the Lord said that He's going to activate the power in your name. Mm. I don't know as many who is watching that is having similar cases. Mm. Your name is not working in response to your life. What is happening mm. right now? What is happening right now is contradicting the covenant of the Lord. Lord. Right now, let there be a reorder. Promise be released. Amen. Every promise that is hanging right now be drop released. Down, drop every down, promise, drop every down, prophecy drop down. hanging on your name right now be fulfilled. Amen. Right now be activated. Amen. The angel of God on assignment over your life and destiny. Mm. We command them to be activated Amen. for the release of your destiny. Amen. In no distant time, your job appointment shall be released. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In no distant time, there shall be total restoration. Mm. Or see in the book of Psalms, chapter 126, verse 1, when the Lord shall turn the captivity of Zion, mm. they were like them that dream, mm. dream. Promise the Lord is turning your captivity. Amen. It will be like a dream of the night. Amen. But it shall come to pass. Hallelujah. In no distant time, there shall be fulfillment. Mm. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Mm. We know it is settled. Mm. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Viewers, tonight we are looking at a topic that says, there is balm in Gilead. In Gilead. Amen. It's a statement of fact. It's a statement of assertion. It is in the affirmative. It is not, it is not, it is not a statement of whether it is or not. We are not in doubt. We have analyzed the scriptures. We've, we've weighed experiences. We've, we've keyed into the spirit to be able to come with this affirmative statement that there is a bomb in Gilead. Somebody's calling us. Hey! Somebody's calling us. Yes. Wale, you're welcome. Thank you. Mm. Promise that they will come in. I need prayer. Pray for me. And spirit is yours. Thank you. God bless you, Wale. Can we pray together? Can we pray together? Can we pray? Let your spirit be lifted, brother. Amen. Well, are you hearing me? You you are lifted. You are lifted. Amen. Mark who tell ya. I say you are lifted. Amen. Whatever that has brought you down, the Lord arise against them. Amen. Whatever be your circumstance and situation, the Bible says when men say there is a casting down, when I speak to you, there is a lifting up. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. the Lord take up your battle. Amen. The Lord's jealousy <laughs> arise in your case, Mr. Wole. Wherever you are, the atmosphere under which you dwell, be charged by the Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I speak to you tonight. You will sleep this night. You wake up a different wallet. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We speak to you tonight. We pray the east wind of the Lord arise on your behalf. Wale, I speak to you. The lawful captive of the mighty. 
Be delivered tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. Arise. Arise. Amen. Arise once Amen. more. Arise once Amen. more. Arise once Amen. more. I said, Arise Amen. once more. In the strength of Jehovah God. Why let the Lord take you up? Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Cover you with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Cover your family with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. And we declare it is well with you. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. We have here an anonymous who is making a request. He said, pray for me for supernatural healing. Mm. For cancer of the breast. Mm. Even the lawful captive of the mighty shall be delivered. Kabosh. For thought saith the Lord. Mm. I will contend with them that, that contend, contend with you. And I will save thy children. Mm -hmm. I will feed your oppressors with their own flesh. Mm. And they shall be drunken with their own, own blood. By their own blood. Breast cancer. I don't know what the doctor say you are. But mm. at the mention of the name of Jesus, every, every name, name must bow. Every name. At the mention of the name of Jesus, every name that is a name must bow. Mm. Therefore, I take authority over cancer. Cancer, I know you can hear me. Mm. Cancer, I know you can respond. Right now, mm. in the name of Jesus, your hold over this life is broken. Amen. Your hold over this life is broken. Amen. Your hold over this life is Amen. broken. Be gone, cancer. Alosh. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Be gone, cancer. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lose her and let her go. Hallelujah. By the power in the name of Jesus. Gabon, I command healing virtue to be released upon this daughter of Zion. Mm. In Jesus' name. Healing is to bread, mm. and by His stripes we are healed. Oh yeah! Kabush, by His Kabush, stripes we are Kabush, healed. Kabush, we are healed. By His stripes we are healed. Kabush, by His stripes we Kabush, are healed. By His stripes we are Hallelujah. healed. Hallelujah! He let him mm. balada. He sent His word and He led them mm. of all that disease and infirmity. Mm. You were the Lord that He led thee. By Your stripes we are healed, Lord. Thank, Thank you. you, Father. Mm. It is done. Right now, sister, whatever you are, begin to do what you couldn't do before, go back for that check again mm. and you will notice that it's begun. Mm. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. It is settled in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Viewers want to encourage you tonight. Amen. You see, I was, oh, another call. We take that call. We take that call. Oluwa Tosin from Zamfara State. You're welcome. What do you want us to pray for? Hello? I think I ah. hear him. He said God's mercy for his family. Oh, Oluwatosin is asking for God's mercy. <laughs> you know, when such prayer requests come, you know that there is a desire, there is a hunger for God's intervention. Lord, we pray for Oluwatosin. Amen. Father, let your mercy flow. Amen. Let your mercy flow. Amen. From the east, Amen. let your mercy flow. Amen. From the west, Amen. let your mercy flow. Amen. From the north, Amen. let your mercy flow. Amen. From the south, hey, let your mercy flow. Amen. The family of Olua Tosin in Zamfara State, may they locate themselves in the mercy of God. Amen. Going out, they will see mercy. Amen. Coming back, they will see mercy. Amen. To their left, they will see mercy. Amen. To their right, they will see mercy. Amen. With men, they will obtain mercy. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Viewers, I was trying to remind us our topic today. For those of us who just tuned into this channel, the encouragement tonight is that we are letting you know that there is balm in Gilead. Amen. It's not only... That there is balm in Gilead, we are letting you know that the physician is here to apply the balm is available. Is here. Is here. <laughs> ah! We pray for you today. Amen. That Kadada as you Kadada open Kadada. your heart unto this Kadada. physician, Kadada. Kadada. he's coming with his back Amen. filled with the balm. Amen. And the blessings of the Lord shall not elude you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We'll read the scriptures later. Let's continue with the prayer request. Okay. Man of God, I need prayer for my son, Lanre, for healing. That is from Adenike. Mm. 
Lanre, wherever you are, the healing power of God is coming upon you. Amen. We tune in with the faith of your mom, requesting mm. the healing power of God over your life. Mm. Right now, Lanre, you are healed. Amen. Whatever is affliction, receive the balm of Gilead. Amen. Receive the balm of Gilead. Amen. Receive the balm of Gilead. Amen. It was the same Jesus. The scripture mm. talked about in Malachi chapter 4, mm. that he's coming with healing in his wings. Mm. And when he comes, he will perform, he will fulfill the master. Came, the Bible said he met a man at the pool of Bethsaida, mm. and he said to him, "Will thou be made whole? Mm. Do you want to be made whole?" Mm. And the man, despite the situation, he was trying to narrate the history. And Jesus said to him, "Rise up, heart, and go mm. right now, Landre, wherever you are. I care not to know. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, mm. rise up and begin to walk." Amen. Amen. The palm of Gilead that come in the name of mm. Jesus comes to you right now. Mm. Mm. Let it hit you wherever you are mm. for total healing, Amen. for total restoration. Mm. In the name of Jesus, be healed, Larry. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, be mm. healed, Larry. Mm. I hear the Lord say addiction. Mm. Be healed from every addiction. Amen. I don't know whatever is the addiction in your life, whatever that has made you a slave, that has enslaved your spiritual mm. life. Right now, be healed from that addiction. Hallelujah. Be healed from that addiction. Mm. Larry, you are coming out from that spare. Amen. You are coming out from that bondage. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, the Lord said that the freedom from that addiction is actually the healing that you need. Mm. Right now, let every addiction, every hold of Satan over your life be broken. Amen. In Jesus name. You are healed, Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus Christ's name. Micah chapter 4. Amen. We are reminding you that our topic today says, There is, there is balm in Gilead. Amen. Verse 9 says something. If we can have it on the screen better. We read verse 9 and verse 10 as time permits us. Now, why do you cry aloud? Is there no king in your midst? Has your counsel or perished? For pangs have seized you like a woman in labor. And verse 10 is saying something that I want to share with you this night. Be in pain and labor to bring forth. O daughter of Zion, like a woman in birth parks, for now you shall go forth from the city. You shall dwell in the field, and to Babylon you shall go. There you shall be delivered. There the Lord will redeem you from the hand of your enemies. Let's stop there. Viewers, we want to encourage you tonight. The paraventure. There is a form of intimidation by way of circumstances and situations of life that you've encountered that has brought you to a place where you've lost hope. You see, the scripture is asking a question. Is the king not in her? You see, there is a strength in you. There is an ability. There is power. There is, there is an unction, there is an anointing that is in you that is waiting to be activated. And as such, you cannot afford to continue in your despair. He's saying, let the pain come. As though a woman is in labor, it is only in entering into that pain that you can give forth. Mm. So brethren, he said, those things that have confronted you, confront them. He said, go out to Babylon. Those things that have intimidated you, confront them tonight. And in it, he says, you shall have deliverance. Amen. We pray for you tonight. Amen. That the balm of Gilead, the physician in Zion, shall enable you to overcome every obstacle. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. He said, be in pain. And bring forth our prayer tonight is that your pains shall bring forth, amen. It shall not be in vain, amen. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. My brother, I take up the prayer request. Okay, we have an anonymous here who is asking God for prayers over Nigeria. Mm. He said, Good evening, man of God. Please pray for the peace of Nigeria, especially 
the forthcoming 2023 general election. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We are praying together for Nigeria. Please, wherever you are, viewers, I would like you to begin to intercede for Nigeria over the forthcoming general election. Mm. Pray that the balm of Gilead shall flow mm. all over the land of Nigeria. Amen. From the north to the south, to the east, to the west. Amen. Let the balm of Gilead Amen. begin to flow Amen. over Nigeria. Amen. Let there be restoration. Healing. Let there be healing, healing over upon Nigeria. the land. In the name of Jesus, Malagavaya, 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 forces to the land. We make a decree to the land of Nigeria. Let them be healed. You are healed. Restoration. Akutunega, Baya, Zogeda, Bragada, Baya, Suku, 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 Every implementation, mm. let the balm of Gilead take over. Amen. Let every human agenda fail. Amen. Let the balm of Gilead take Amen. over. Let every satanic agenda fail. Amen. Let the balm of Gilead take over. Amen. Let the balm of Gilead take Amen. over. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. It is done in Jesus. Our name. king is in our midst. Our king is in our midst. Our counselor. Has not perished. For Nigeria is the law. Hallelujah. And its fullness thereof. Thank you, Lord. Somebody wrote and said, Pray for total Jesus. healing of my son Amen. Dominion from partial stroke. Hey. And SS from Peter in Lokoja. Father, we pray. Dominion. The law. Cause you to arise. Amen. You will walk in dominion. Amen. Dominion, let your name answer hey. for you. Dominion, we pray for you. Let the balm of Gilead heal you. For the name of the Lord is like an ointment poured forth. Like an ointment poured forth. We ask that the physician in Zion shall apply the balm upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord heal you. Amen. The Lord heal you. Amen. The Lord restore you. Amen. The Lord restore you. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. We have here also Anonymous praying. He says, please pray for me. I have uncertainties of 2023 that the Lord will give me the grace to overcome all my fears. We don't tell you already. Face that circumstance. Challenge your situation. And the mm. Bible says in Luke chapter 10 verse 19. Mm. Behold, I give you power. Mm. Authority to tread upon snake and scorpion. Mm. Upon uncertainty, upon fear. Whatever mm. it is. Upon whatever it is. Every name that is a name. Mm. Upon whatever. I don't know the one that is making you afraid. Mm. He has given you power. He has given you dominion. Mm. Arise in the power he has given Walking to you. Walking in dominion. Oh, Arise and begin Jokali to walk. Begin to tread, begin to walk, begin mm. to take possession. In Genesis chapter 1, he said you have, he has given you power mm. to rule over, to dominate, mm. to subdue the earth. Mm. In 2022, son of God or daughter of God, I don't know whoever it is making this request. Mm. In 2023, you will overcome. Amen. In accordance with Genesis chapter 1 verse 27, mm. you will have dominion. You will rule in the name of Jesus. Amen. 2023 will not overlude you. Amen. You will conquer in the name of Jesus. Amen. No more fear. No more Amen. fear. Amen. No more fear. No Amen. more fear. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Let every uncertainty be addressed in mm. Jesus' name. Let every fear be addressed in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Bless be your Receive name. Receive power to have dominion. Mm. Receive power to rule. Mm. Receive power to replenish. Mm. Receive power power to subdue. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Viewers, Amen. you don't have any cause to fear. There is no excuse. If you're a child of God, you've given your life to Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. The Spirit of God is in you. You have no cause to fear. He said, why do you cry aloud? He's asking you a question where we read. 
Is there no king in your midst? The king of kings is in the midst of Zion. He's asking you, has your counselor perished? Ah, our counselor, the Holy Ghost, is still in us. Brethren, face that challenge. And the Lord will give you victory. Amen. Good evening, men of God. Somebody writes and says, I am Simeon. Please pray for divine healing and perfect health for me. I have been down for some time now. Mm. Simeon, I want to let you know that whether the healing of God and every viewer comes instantaneous or gradual, we have a guarantee tonight that the Lord is bringing his healing your way. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And we pray for you. May the Lord heal you. Amen. You've been down. The Lord take you up. Amen. <laughs> You've been down. <laughs> the Lord take you up. Amen. You stand again on your feet. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Your bones and your sinuses, your cartilages and your vessels receive strength from above. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord heal you. Amen. The Lord restore you. Amen. The Lord empower you. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Mm -hmm. We have here from Deborah Zaria. Good evening, men of God. Mm. Please pray for I and my husband for full recovery after leg surgery. Also pray for open doors in my family mm. and for things to turn around for good mm. in my family. Things are turning around for good, Deborah. Things are turning around for good right now for mm. you. Doors shall be opened in the name of Jesus. Amen. I speak as a prophet into your life. You mm. and your husband, your family, things are turning around for good. Amen. Right now, things are turning around for good. Mm. The call you have been waiting for, the, the appointment you have been waiting for, mm. the promise you have been waiting for, the open door you have been trusting God for is opening right now. Even when men say there is a casting down, mm. for you there, is, there shall be They're a lifting up. In the name of Jesus, Amen. for you and your husband, doors are opening opening mm. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Door is open mm. in Jesus' name. Amen. And I speak concerning the surgery in the leg. Right now, they receive the healing power of God mm. in the name of Jesus. Mm. Even for me, the Lord did it for me in our household. This morning, we woke up and the kids, all oh, we are running temperature, they are throwing up and we, I place the oil upon their head during devotion and I decree this same passage upon their life. Mm. And I say, by the Spirit of God, by the bound that heal, anointing breaks a yoke right now Ma, before I finish what I was doing that same morning that same morning the whole boys we are jumping up mm. and down right now I speak in that order for your husband's leg for mm. the leg that has undergone surgery right now be healed Ma. let the balm of Gilead address that situation Ma. quick recovery in the name of Jesus Ma. quick recovery in the name of Jesus Ma. quick recovery in the name of Jesus Ma. you are rising from that bed Yes, Lord. you are rising from that yes, Lord. The Lord heal you right now mm. in the name of Jesus. For Amen. your family, there shall be laughter. Mm. The Lord give you reason to celebrate. Amen. Before the end of this year, you will celebrate. Mm. The Lord cause your pain to be turned to joy mm. in the name of Jesus. Amen. I don't know the name men has called you. Mm. They have called you Mara in the case of Naomi, but the Lord is giving you a new name. Hallelujah. Giving you joy is giving you laughter mm. in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Somebody sent in a request and says, Good evening, men of God. I want you to help me and my family to thank Almighty God. Last year, God helped me to be delivered of a son. Last year, February 2022. Even though I am above 40 years old, God also answered my prayers I sent to you people this year and provided a bigger accommodation to us and light. I've also come to the premises where we are staying. Hallelujah. Please, men of God, also pray that God will help me to get pregnant again this month of December 2022 Amen. and be delivered safely next year 2023. Another son and favor every ember 
of my family with good health, long life, with divine provisions, protection, Amen. and prosperity. Amen. Amen. This is a long one. I want to join you to celebrate Amen. what God has done in your family. Hallelujah. And for others who are watching this meeting, we want you to key in the same frequency. Amen. Now the Lord God Almighty, who has done this for our sister, will do it for you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let's pray for her. Father Amen. in heaven, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. We give you thanks. Amen. We give you praise. Hallelujah. We appreciate that which you've done in the life of this, your daughter. Amen. And we key in the frequency of your divine visitation. Amen. That you visit her again. Amen. For he who did it for one, mm -hmm. who can do it for another. Amen. Again and again. Amen. Again and again. Amen. Father, as she trusts you for another delivery. Father, Lord Almighty, we pray that the favor she's asking for shall come upon her Amen. in the mighty name Amen. of Jesus Christ. May the Lord grant you healing. Amen. May the Lord grant you good health. Amen. May the Lord grant you long life. Amen. May the Lord grant you divine protection. Amen. May the Lord grant you divine prosperity Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Sister, it is well with you. Amen. It is done. Amen. For there is balm in Gilead. In Gilead. Amen. All right, we have a prayer request. Men of God, please pray for my father, Francis Chukwe Mecca, for divine healing from Ifanyi Chuku. Chuku. In the name of Jesus, we are praying for your father, Francis, for divine healing. Amen. The expectation of the righteous will not be cut short. Amen. Francis, wherever you are, be healed. In the name of Jesus, be Amen. healed. In Amen. the name of Jesus, be healed. Amen. In the name of Jesus, be healed. Amen. Right now, you are healed. Mm. For there is a balm in Gilead. Amen. And there is a physician. Mm. In the name of Jesus, mm. the King of Glory, attend to your matter now. Amen. The King of Glory, attend to your issue now. Amen. Wherever you are, Francis, in the name of Jesus, we come, you join our faith with the faith of your son making a request. Mm. Because he knows there is a balm in Gilead. Hello. Because he knows that every matter presented here shall be attended to. Mm. May heaven in Intercept that issue now. Mm. May heaven intercept your health right mm. now. Be healed, Francis, in the Amen. name of Jesus. Be healed, Francis, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every hold of Satan over your life. Let every loose. Every hold of Satan let over loose. your health. Let loose. Let loose in the name Amen. of Jesus. Let him and let him go. Claim over Francis, you are coming out of that infirmity. Amen. You are coming out of that sickness. Yes, Lord. You are coming out of that disease. Mm. In the name of Jesus, Amen. whatever the doctor say it is, I care not to know because there is a balm in Gilead. Mm. Right now, Francis, you are healed. Yes, in Lord. the name of Jesus, you will live, you will not die. Amen. You will fulfill your days in the land of the living. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Father, we bless your name yes, for Lord. answered prayer. Mm. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Viewers, we thank God for your life. Hallelujah. We bless God for you. Amen. Let this message keep resonating in your spirit. Amen. Let it keep ringing a bell. Amen. That whatever situation you have found yourself tonight, that there is balm. In Gilead. In Gilead. And there is a physician. The physician. Ah, he's also there. He's there. Lord, Shanda Kapaya Bada. May the Lord heal you. Amen. Tonight, it has been a wonderful meeting. And we know that the Lord has visited. You. Amen. Keep holding on to him. Amen. We want to encourage you to partner with us in this program. The number you are seeing on the screen is an account number you can use to send in your token of support so that this meeting can keep coming to you live. And I know your life shall be blessed. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God, now we want to thank God for you. Thank you, sir. The Lord keep blessing you. Amen. The Lord keep upholding you and Amen. your family. Amen. And we'd like to have you again and again. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You ask until we come your way next time. Want to ask that the Lord will keep keeping you. Amen. 
the peace of the Lord be with you. Amen. Let the light of his countenance shine upon Amen. you. As you go out in this season, you will confront your enemies, you will conquer. Amen. He said, go to Zion, go to Babylon rather. He said, then you shall be saved. Amen. Hmm. Those things that threaten you, as you encounter them this season, Amen. Victory is on your side. Amen. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Until we come your way next time, the Lord keep you. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Sweet hour of prayer. Sweet hour of prayer. That calls me from all. Join us every Sunday for our online Sunday series and children's Sunday school broadcast showing on ACNN TV and our social media platforms, 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. Open your hearts to receive from the Lord, and I'm sure as you watch and hear from various ministers of God, you will not remain the same. God bless you. Great man.